five minutes. <laughs> is this thing on? All right, I'm meat grinder. Yeah. Paul Vinto, good training partner. I'm going to show some defenses to the uh, omoplata and just talk about the position a little bit in general. All right, so just got me an omoplata. First thing I want to do is kind of like hide my hand as best I can behind my leg. All right, get a nice frame on my elbow right here. All right, now we were talking about the, the ankle lock situation. Like, um, all right, so he's trying to come. I want he's. I'm trying to get my head under here and sort of like put some pressure on, maybe come in here, ankle lock. Um, I don't really feel like that this is doing much except getting somebody uncomfortable. You know, you come in here and try to get your arms together, pressure. Um, I never really submit. Sometimes it gets uncomfortable when I try it. But I want to do like walk around to this way. So as soon as that happens, I'm going to try and lean back a little bit, get control of his foot. And I want to step my foot kind of directly along his spine right here. Because he, if he tries to angle down, it's going to be along his spine. So I'm going to try and get some base right along that line. All right. As soon as I do that, I'm going to try, I got to control his foot though when I do that. Because I don't want him to be able to weave it under my leg, kind of stretch me out. I'll be in a lot of trouble there. Okay. Or he sometimes he gets it underneath your armpit. I got to keep this foot under control. All right. So I got my foot here. Base, I'm trying to come around here. I want to posture up a little bit and then turn the corner. Come around here. Once I start turning the corner, once I start turning the corner, I have to work around the zone. I got to work around like this. Holding it, I like to cut the leg as soon as I do it. Generally, somebody's thigh is perpendicular to their body. You have a lot of control over their hips. All right, so I come around here, I cup it in like this, and then I just put my knee onto their hip. And I sort of have nice control of him yeah. right here. He can't, once I drive my knee to his hip right there, he can't really shrimp up or away that much. I kind of consolidate the position nicely like that. So again. Well, yeah, seven seasons long. Yeah. Gets me. I'm going to immediately try and walk back a little bit like this. Angle him a little bit so I can hide my hand and get my foot along his spine. The direction of his spine. Controlling his foot. Lean back a little bit, turn the corner, cup his knee, and finish up. Okay? The thing is, you don't always get your foot, if this is a spine, you don't always get your foot there and able to turn the corner. Sometimes as you're sort of doing that, he's chopping down more of an angle away. That way he gets his spine turned a little bit. So your foot isn't giving you base along that line anymore. But as he's chopping down, that's what gives you the momentum to try and like angle your body that way and, then, and quickly come around like this. You do end up in this position a lot. So immediately grab his hip to keep that leg collapsed. Right? Then you can work to get it over his knee and finish up. Uh, a final thing to do in defense. <coughs> not the final. But another thing I like to do. Uh, and I tried it unsuccessfully in competition a couple times, but is sometimes people are trying to keep you flat. They might grab your back, your belt, or something. But initially, before they even get up that high, they might grab your pants, your leg here. Or something. Yeah, grab it here, especially if they grab the far one. Kind of control the position a little bit. But what I want to do is I'm just going to grab his sleeve and I'm going to we over plot to him this way. Yeah, if he's going to lean back, I can come right out too. But anytime you can see and grab his, his arm, you can own the plot to him. As, even if he comes forward, he, he's still on the plot to me. Got to keep coming forward. Well, right. We're both kind of both in the plot, but I feel like I have the advantage here because my back is pushing against the floor. And I'm coming back at him. <coughs> Um, one more thing about the omoplata that's very similar actually to lasso spider guard because really when somebody starts in lasso spider <coughs> oops, yeah. when somebody starts in lasso spider and you get them turtles they come turtles really now we show a little she's kind of in that we're kind of in that whole transformation of 
position that. Let me go for a second. So, really just small transformations between going from spider guard, lasso spider, to omoplata. So you'll see some similarities when you're in one or the other that you can do. Okay, so when he's in, get me back in omoplata. I just talked about the, the spider guard to turtle position. You could similarly do that here. If I can lean back, if he's not chopping down much at all, I can base, I can grab his spine and pull him back this way, okay? Once I get somebody turtled, I just have to make sure he can't forward roll back into omoplata. So I'm gonna control his thigh right here. This is the one that he needs to, to get going. Or if he just shoulder rolled the guard, I'm not in danger of being triangled or anything like that because I have that leg control. But as soon as I come here, I want to move my hand to this far hip. I'm going to control that. So my hand was here. I'm going to pull it over to this far hip and I'm going to start pulling him back. And you can see I've got the same position again with my hand cupping this knee, get my shoulder in front, and I'll finish by putting my knee in that hip. Let's do it from the other angle. Just from the other angle. Here, I'm looking to do the step over thing, but I can't really get under his foot that well, but I've got good base. So I'm gonna just keep picking him up, shoulder rolling him backwards. And now, I don't want him to be able to shoulder roll forward again and we go right back to that position. I put my knee on this leg right here, and I switch my hand to this hip, come over here like this, and pull him back. Move my hand to the knee, control the right. So that's enough for defense on this. I will go into some uh, offensive counters and uh, the balance back and forth of those positions in my next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. All right.